testing one two three okay hopefully you can hear this so in a nutshell contacts is just literally contacts of people now currently active campaign operated everything by list okay so if someone opt in basically go to a list now if the email address is uh, like the same email address can apply to different one okay and that's okay that is totally fine so you can have like one email that go into different list uh, but it's count as one contact in this database Yes, first of all, I know my database is really small, but I'm hoping to basically expand the database to you know 10,000 or so. If possible, I would love to do that. Now, with this creative, probably um, water more, um, okay. And so, contacts basically you can bring up the list of people. Campaign, think of it as a newsletter. You want to send like a one off email. Basically, everything, sorry, everything is through campaigns. So, like a one off email kind of thing. So, in this case, I probably wouldn't do this purely because it's, I wouldn't do it just because it's, it's harder to understand and, and harder to, to know it. So what I would do, I would actually click on automations. Automation, think of it as campaign builder in, in Fusionsoft. What you can do, you can build some crazy automation stuff in here. Um, now, a report is basically a report. It's very basic compared to Infusionsoft. The apps itself, um, is taught, you can do some kind of integration. You can also build form. So like you know in in Infusion in Infusionsoft or like Get Response or Everber, you have form right. So you can actually build build basic form in here. I'm just gonna show you one more thing in form as well. I'm just gonna click uh, this one. Okay, so the DDP click funnels. Um, so with the DDP click funnels. <coughs> So generally speaking, you can you know build email, phone number, blah blah in here. Just pretty much click on the left and it just pull it out from there. Team start option, I never have. I mean, I hardly ever use it. You can use it if you want to. This is basically single opt in or double opt in. Um, so if it untick, basically it is a single opt in. If you tick it, it's double opt in. Now what I, um, you can get the um the code, the HTML code from integrated your site from here. Uh, form setting is kind of like annoying, but this is how I do it. So if you want to set like a thank you page, you have to click on form settings, click on subscription confirmation page, and then you can basically usually it it will come it will be like this, and all you need to do is click on redirect to URL instead, and then um, type in there and click save, and that's it. That's how you do it. So now in automation, so I'm just gonna click it client. Uh, this one's called client. Um, Walter property coach okay so I'm just gonna do like basic automation I'm gonna click create now because the way you connect the um, click funnels right to this I'm assuming you ask them their name email address and telephone number so therefore I would say probably subscribe right subscribe to at least so in this case it's creative property coach once click on add start <coughs> And that's done. So look, there's two ways you can add it. You can actually click on the left hand side like this thing. Condition you can wait, like you know, very similar to that. Or you can click the plus. I personally click plus just easy, for me it's faster. So in this case, I'm just gonna tag them, I'm just gonna tag in uh, Walter Walter Property Coach. Okay. So now attack, attack that just in case. And also, I want to be, I personally want to be notified to myself. So in this case, I'm going to send it to myself. Boy, at blah, blah, blah. And then I'm going to click comma. I'm going to grab Walter email address, which is this one. Pop that one in. Um, new lead from Poi for property coaching. Please call. Call or connect with this person immediately. Okay. Click OK. <clears throat> so that's how you add like a notification into me. Um, you can also uh, this is send an email to client to the end user. So I'm just gonna use what I sent you. So in this case, I'm just gonna say thank you. Right. I'm just gonna copy what he had before using get response. So thank you. Click create. I personally always use like um, a basic HTML, like building from scratch, and then you click newsletter. I never use custom HTML unless it is like 
EDM, which is like, you know, you have a, a, an image in HTML and then you just pop it in here. Normally, I just click newsletter. Click OK. Thank you. Um, oh, shit. Fuck. Sorry. They meant to swear, but that's, hey, by the way, I swear a lot. And usually, I don't mean it. Um, you know, it's not like I don't really um, any meaning to it. So I click continue. You can fix this kind of thing, so it's not a problem. Next thing, I'm just going to copy this part. Uh, this you have to delete it like this delete that and then replace the whole thing and that is kind of like done you know with gratitude blah 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 look good click here and then you can change it to Walter Morris I think I'm, not, I'm pretty sure it's both wrong yeah see um, and then I'm gonna copy his email address in here that's perfect okay that looks pretty good to me and um, that, and then I usually put that on the left hand side I usually make this about four um, six hundred you know give or take now I just shrink up like little frame a little bit that not there um, that looks pretty good I personally say and then just gonna click next And the next thing is, it's just like, hey, you know what? Is this is this what you want? It's just like a summary, you know, of uh, what you just did. Um, usually, uh, we don't have the link tracking, so it's off. Um, you can you can have like an open and retracking, but in this case, we don't have to worry about it. Um, I understand we got like a one point stamp check, blah blah blah. All good. Just gonna click finish, and that's pretty much it. Okay. So in a nutshell, we just created automation. It's, once you get familiar with this system, it's pretty, like, really, really easy. So condition, you can have, like, wait. So, like, you know, wait for one day. Um, if then, so if someone, I don't know, like, say, let's just go, let's have a look. So I just teach you now. So if, say, if, come on, if someone, say, geographically, they are in the country, call Australia, then they get this send an email. If not, or you can go, like, say a site if they go if they visit like a certain website that we have a um a, tra um, a pixel which is like a tracking pixel in place if you don't understand it basically is a little code in in a website that they, they visit that website then it will trigger the system so then like, it can do all crazy stuff so even on like for example you want it you want to send it out on um currently of day as long as is day is not you know like weekend kind of thing or is not weekend then the email will go out so you can do like all this stuff in here and then had date and time, what month, date, year, you can specifically send it out like that. But that's it. Now, once it's done, you have to click active and then saving change or change done. That's pretty much how I do it. So hopefully, hopefully I give you a very crash course on how to use um, a active campaign in a nutshell in like, you know, a few minutes. But it's pretty full on automation here. All right, talk soon.